I mean, early stages, LLMs are still going to rule the land, I think, for at least the next year. Uh, that's the quickest to deploy and the most likely that a customer has uh, within their scope for testing. So I think, you know, LLM testing and um, the evolution of that as we move into more, you know, reinforced standard practice for how to test that um, should then see us changing direction into other areas. But for now, it is still very much a, a heavy LLM focus. And I think that's AI in general still. A lot of the times when, you know, mass media and others refer to AI, they are still talking about LLMs. We haven't really graduated past that in technology in general and security um, you know, ne really needs that industry to move before the testing function can move with it. it, it it's been really interesting. Like Michael really uh, hit the nail on the head before with the comment around how the approach to these kinds of uh, LLM bugs is very different, like the thought process that goes into yeah. it. it. It's kind of entirely, like a lot of the rules kind of go out the window. Yeah. There is still a, a fundamental level there of, looking at, okay, well, uh, this, this company has introduced an LLM, what might they be using it for? Or what, you know, what information would that have to have access to behind the scenes to, to do the thing? Uh, so there's still that kind of core understanding of, of how they might be built, but your approach is so, so different. These models have been built in completely different ways, what, even though they are a very similar strain of thing. They might all be LLMs, but they have very different approaches to the tokenization. Yeah. So um, find the one that works really well for you. Find you know the technology that works quite well. And the other part that I probably very very clearly state is prompt engineering has become a very utilized term. There's a reason for it. It um, does change the way you utilize an LLM. You can get a very distinct and varying result uh, from the way you prompt these systems. If you prompt it correctly or, you know, with a certain amount of finesse, you can get better results. So learning that aspect can also be very, very helpful. We built in partnership with ChatGPT, the first AI program to enter the space, uh, which was by far the best partner at the time to help us really understand, you know, what, what were we going to do? How are we going to do it? And then extended that into our VRT. And then more recently, we've been approaching crowd members to help us enhance that. So the VRT or vulnerability rating taxonomy is our classification system to make sure we're classifying risk, but it also serves purpose to educate the crowd because yeah. for each VRT entry, there's a template of what that finding could look like to give you threads on, you know, how do you learn about it? So the state we're at is, you know, we've built in partnership with the customers that have entered this space and explored it. And now we're extending that work to work with the crowd, enhance what we're doing on classification and make sure that, you know, our processes are keeping up with what is a very quickly evolving space. Thank mm -hmm. you.